so you don't have access to the special archival tape, so, but this is a, a, a perfect alternative. Uh, the advantage on this over what some herbaria around the world still do, which is to glue with wood glue, uh, archival quality wood glue, is that with the glue, you've stuck the specimen down and you can't get it off easily. Now, that's ex exactly what some herbaria want to do, but in herbaria that are thinking about the users, the researchers, will want to make it so that the specimens can be removed or can be moved and bits can be removed under with, with expressed permission. Uh, so uh, it's, it's all about that sort of approach. Now with this glue you can either have the sort of like they have in the uh, shops and banks something that allows you to wet down, uh, wet the back of that. I'm actually going to just uh, lick it because it's non-toxic. I hope. And near the base, I'm going to uh, put the tape down on one side. Now, what I want to avoid here is making a tent. Uh, what I mean by a tent is where the paper is like this, forming a V over the stem, and there are air gaps on either side. So I don't want to make an A-frame tent. I want to make it like this, like a, a U or an N that tightly fits around. So I grab that. It's good to have a pair of forceps or something similar and I can uh, just put that in and over and tuck that in. So a nip and tuck. And you see how tightly that's around? And I'm going to, just for good measure, I'm going to hold that for a few seconds and sort of uh, count to three. And having done that, um, uh, of course I'm not going to try it too much now, but that's going to secure it really well. So now the question is how many more pieces do I need? Now I, clearly I need something up there, and some people might put it there, uh, I'm going to come back a bit because, remember, this is in a folder already, and uh, so this is where I use the smaller bit, so that's the thicker bit. Um, the beauty of this is if you make a, a, a real mess of it, you can actually cut and remove that and redo it and have a second go. And that's the other thing, if we at some later stage want to remount this, we can just go snip, 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 and off it comes. So now for some of the smaller bits. Bit of the morning tea. Okay, so here, uh, I can use this to hold it in place and again, I'm going to grab the forceps and use the back of the forceps to... Oh, nice. Okay, and hold that on for a few secs. And I'm, I'm sort of pushing in, but not so much that I'm going to tear the paper, but I'm pushing in to try and get that contact with the stem and with the base. And even that's... Yeah, you see, I need another one, don't I? So. Uh, I need one more thin piece and and some people might put one up here and and down there um, as a rule of thumb um, if the minimum you can put that sort of really anchors it nicely um, it's it's not to prevent a tornado. Uh, that was my off cut. Okay, I need. There we are. Uh, because remember, the specimens should always be uh, kept uh, horizontal anyway. 
So it means that uh, it's not like you're protecting them from a tornado. You need to, or excessive. excessive movement and they are protected by the flimsy and by gentle handling. So um, you can see there, and I'm not suggesting you try this, but you can see that that's not actually going anywhere. Now whether you put one there as well or not I think is sort of marginal. Um, I'll do it just to give you an idea of more um, uh, of another thing. Um, if I, I can, I, what I won't do is just do it across the top and create that tent. If I did go over both of those, I would go down and under. Uh, alternatively, I can go right up the top where, uh, 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 where it's eff effectively acting as one piece. If I come down here, I either have to go da up, down, up, down, and make sure I use the forceps to push that down in between, or I slip it under one and just tie one, okay? I just went for the line of least resistance here, but... Now, what I wouldn't do is I wouldn't tie down there because it's so fragile at the end that any movement, it's likely to snap off, and what you've done is actually help damage the specimen rather than prevent damage. Okay, and even though that's a little bit vulnerable, uh, because it's sort of tied down, you can see it's not going to go anywhere, and that's it. I wouldn't do any more than that to that specimen. 